Co-Housing Bozeman, an organization dedicated to creating Montana's first co-housing development, offered their first tour of a five-acre piece of land that they hope will be that development. M10's Gabby Kravit checked it out for herself and walks us through the details. A couple miles outside of downtown Bozeman, just down Wagon Wheel Road, we have around five acres of land that will soon be home to Montana's first co-housing development. You know your neighbors, um, you know this kind of idea of going next door for a cup of sugar um, actually happens on a regular basis. The Bozeman co-housing group just closed on the purchase of a chunk of land south of town, bringing them one step closer to introducing the first co-housing development in the state of Montana. Today, Bozeman co-housing had their first site tour. So the common house would be kind of between the hedge and the fourplex there. Co-housing emphasizes community and is part of a lifestyle and architectural movement that began in Denmark in the 1960s. Co-housing is all about you know, creating this physical and social infrastructure to support the group's unique goals and aspirations. So every group's different. Neighborhoods often consist of private homes with shared spaces and amenities for residents. So far, nine families have invested in the project. Co-housing is created by the future residents. So. All the people that are going to live there are helping to do, the, do the, de the development. And while the design is in its early stages, the Bozeman City Commission recently approved the zoning of the lot that would allow for the flexibility needed for the project. The fact that Bozeman Co-housing uh, has successfully acquired some land and has a strong um, concept for how they're going to develop that land and, and turn it into co-housing um, is, is by far the biggest milestone. In Bozeman, Gabby Krevitt. MTN News.